my lovelies and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i thought i would film my simple drugstore everyday makeup look this video has actually been really highly requested so i'm so excited to film it with you guys and i really hope you enjoy it just a disclaimer before we get into the video this is my version of a simple everyday makeup look i didn't want to put foundation on and mascara because i feel like that would just be a pointless video i wanted to feel a little bit more glam use really lovely products but make it simple you don't have to use all the products that i use but i just wanted to share them with you so yeah just a disclaimer <laughs> as always all the products will be linked in the description box down below so if you want to know the price where to get it all of that kind of stuff it will all be linked there for you as well as my earrings i get questions on these all the time so yeah they will be linked in the description box as well but yeah if you want to see how to get this makeup look then please keep watching so my lovelies i have nothing on my face i'm sorry i look gross and so pale i normally fake tan before i go to bed and obviously i forgot to fake tan on the day that i'm filming a makeup tutorial so i'm really sorry about my paleness so to start off i always prep my skin beforehand skincare is so important especially if you want to achieve a super glowy and natural makeup look you want the base of your skin to just feel so nice so i highly recommend cleansing it and stuff beforehand i absolutely love using mists on my face like sprays on my face especially in the spring summer i find it so refreshing and it just brightens up my makeup and i love it i haven't found i've got a setting spray which is drugstore but i haven't found like a mist that i really like which is drugstore so this is the only product in the whole video which isn't drugstore pixie isn't the most affordable brand when it comes to like skincare and makeup but it is just incredible so i thought i'd mention it i was going to skip over it and then i thought i might as well just mention it so it's a glow mist with propolis and argan oil and you can use it before makeup during makeup after makeup on days where you're not wearing makeup literally whenever and it's just a glow mist and it just brightens your skin up and it's just incredible um so i give it a good shake before because it like the oil sort of separates if you've got oily skin then maybe skip this step and then i go a little bit away from my face <clears throat> honestly it smells incredible and it just makes your face feel insane so yeah i love that for moisturizer of course i'm going to use my ole beauty fluid i pop quite a lot on and then i mix it in my hands and just go all over my face And then any excess, I'll just rub into my hands. Okay, so I personally like to start off with my brows. I don't know why I do this because I feel like it makes sense to do your whole face and then your brows, but I don't know, I've always just done my brows first. I never really do them on camera because they haven't changed, but I thought I would show you guys a drugstore product that you can use. I always use the Benefit Precise to my brow pencil. I personally think it's the most incredible thing. It's so quick and easy to do. It's got a spoolie on one end and then the product on the other and it's just easy. But it's not drugstore. So I was rummaging through my makeup and I found these two. They're pomades. I haven't used a pomade in maybe like a couple of years. I don't use pomades. I feel like they make your brows look so dark. But I'm going to try and make it work and just see if I can give it like an actual look. So I've got the L'Oreal one which is called Precise... No paradise pomade and then i've got the next tame and frame pomade as well which i think i'll use this one i've had it for so long and it's not even been used so it looks like this maybe i have used it there's like a little marks on it um the packaging is really nice i'm just gonna get an angled brush so i'm gonna get an angled brush to angle the pomade onto the brows and then i'm gonna get a concealer brush like this just to carve them out after okay and then i'm just gonna use my primark mirror which is so good um so i'm just gonna go really lightly around the edges of my brows it depends what shape you have for what you need to do if you need to fill them in more because they're more sparse then do that just do whatever you need to do to follow your shape i personally just like to go around the edges because it just makes it a little bit neater um this product isn't really coming out not because it's not good but because it's so old okay i really like this i like how you can sort of it's a bit sticky so you can sort of change the direction of your hair which is really good and then to carve them out just to make them look a little bit more sharp i'm just going to grab some foundation and then pop it on to the concealer brush oh! and then just go around so 
next up to add a little bit of glow underneath my makeup i'm going to use the l'oreal glow cherie um, it's a natural glow enhancer you can pop it over your makeup as well if you want to but this is just going to add a little bit of color to my skin and also a lot of glow I feel like this product is a drugstore alternative for the By Terry CC Serum, which is a lovely product, which I actually have, but it's so expensive. So as you can see, it just adds a lot of colour to your skin. You've got a natural glow. It's not like too pigmented with the highlights, if that makes sense. And it just blends your skin in with your neck and stuff. It's so nice. And of course, it's just so glowy and just beautiful. And it's really lightweight as well. So if you're thinking of doing a really natural makeup, you just want a bit of glow and a little bit of a tan, then this product is so good. So yeah, I highly recommend it. It's just so nice. To prime my skin, I'm going to use the Soap & Glory One Heck of the Bolt Primer. I've never used this. I found it in my drawer and I was like, oh my god, I love Soap & Glory product. So I'm hoping this will be good. I go through stages of using primers. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I love them. Sometimes I'm like, mmm. Um, but I do feel like they make a difference, especially in keeping your makeup on. Um, so I feel like especially for spring summertime, you get hot, you get a little bit sweaty. So it's a bit more important just to add an extra product that basically makes your makeup stick to your face, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is honestly so good. I really like this. I feel like that is a very similar consistency of the All Nighter uh, Primer, which is this one here. I use this one every day at the moment, but I honestly feel like it's a bit of a dupe for that, so yeah. So now I'm going to move on to foundation. Before I do that, I've discovered this tip recently, and I really want to share it with you guys because I think you'll like it. I don't know about you, I have hay fever, so it constantly feels that like I'm itchy, my nose is red, and it's just annoying. And I've been trying to think of hacks to keep makeup on my nose. Does anyone else get it where throughout the day, makeup just falls off your nose and i don't know what it is i know my nose is a bit more oily but i didn't know why so what i've discovered is getting a brush and then getting a tiny bit of powder and i literally just dot it on my nose and it will mattify it basically anywhere that i feel like i makeup sort of falls off throughout the day like a little bit on my chin maybe my smile line i pop the tiniest bit on and it's almost like the product is like glued to my face and it doesn't come off. Honestly, try it if you feel like you have the same sort of issue as me. Um, and hopefully it works because I love it. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Mix. I haven't used this foundation in the longest time. Hopefully there's enough product. And what I'm going to do is just get my beauty blender and just sort of distribute that all around my face really evenly. Forget all your sorrows, let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. Okay, so moving on to concealer. I'm going to mix two, mainly because this one is basically near enough empty. But I like the colour of this. Um, but I'm going to use a little bit more coverage with this one. I haven't used this concealer in the longest time. It used to be my favourite. So if you used to watch all my makeup tutorials, I used to absolutely love the Tree Match one. The good times, dance until it feels alright. All night, we're all about the good vibes. All about the good vibes. And then I'm just going to get a beauty blender and then blend it all out. Forget all your sorrows, let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax all your problems. Okay, at this point I would usually go with a, like a cream contour. Um, I personally think it makes your makeup last a lot longer. But this is a simple everyday makeup. So I don't want to go into too much detail and I feel like people are going to come for me. So I'm just going to stick to bronzer. But if you've got extra time, I would recommend cream contouring. I feel like it lasts so much longer and your makeup looks flawless but anyway moving on to powder i'm gonna use the l'oreal infallible in the shade warm vanilla and what i'm gonna do is get a powder puff i always talk about these i really highly recommend them they make your makeup look flawless especially when it comes to like powder and i really coat the powder puff with the product and then I like to sort of bend it in half. After I've done that, I'm going to get my beauty blender and just sort of blend out all the creases under my eyes. I 
I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I Okay, so now my concealer is all powdered It's obviously a lot more paler I'm going to move on to this one I've literally just broken the lid off But it's the Bourjois Healthy Mix So I'm using the same powder and foundation I always feel like that's the best combination To make your skin that like, extra flawless So you can see it looks really pale But when you apply it It completely changes colour It like oxidises um, Which is what we need Because we want the skin to look a little bit more Just a little bit more darker Because this powder is really light But it's meant to be Okay to bronze my skin I'm going to use the Rimmel Natural bronzer in the shade sun bronze i like to use a big fan brush i feel like it's really like easy and convenient especially when you're in a rush because you can sort of just bang it on and then it's all bronze do you know what i mean i'll do anything to make it fine but i can tell that you have something on your mind okay when it gets sorry my hair's just like all over the place i'm gonna do it at the end properly so before moving on to my eyes i'm just gonna set everything in place just so it's not gonna budge so i'm gonna use the nyx matte finish setting spray i just pop this all over does anyone else love putting setting spray on in like the spring summer i find it the most refreshing thing but it like sets your makeup it's amazing so moving on to my eyes i can't smile too much because i don't want to make lines so if i look very serious that's why <laughs> i can't smile um for eyes i'm just going to use the same bronzer i was using on my face with a big fluffy brush that's all i'm going to do i'm literally just going to go into the crease i literally do this in about five seconds it's so easy to do but it's going to make your makeup blend a little bit better so it'll blend in with like the rest of the bronzer and then i've got a little brush like this where i'm just going to highlight my tear duct and the brow bone and it just makes your eyes appear bigger so i always make sure my eyelids are set beforehand with some sort of powder it makes it a lot easier to blend so yeah just a tip if you find it hard to like blend products on your eyes you can see the difference it just blends in a little bit better it's not too like harsh if you know what i mean i feel like this eye just looks too bright so yeah this just blends in a lot better and then if you want you can leave it like this i'm gonna actually get a smaller brush with the same bronzer and then just pop that on my lower lash line but you don't have to do this if you don't want to highlight my tear duct and my brow bone i'm going to use the maybelline face studio Co comb <laughs> chrome extreme highlighter in the shade molten gold and um, you can see i've literally used this so much so yeah i really like this product and it's just really like buildable if that makes sense you can just do like a natural look if you want or you can just add the product and then it becomes a little bit more brighter and then on my brow bone just sort of blend it out of your finger and it just adds that little extra sort of pop of color we'll obviously add highlight at the end but it just makes your eyes sort of wake up a little bit okay so i have actually just done an order with few few i've actually just done an order with feel unique i spent over 300 pounds don't know what's wrong with me but i wanted to film like a drugstore haul so there's loads of new products in there that i haven't tried before so i'm so excited for that okay so for mascara this is the only one i could find i've actually bought a new one i spent 340 pounds or something on feel unique the other day and my order's coming tomorrow which i'm so excited about so i'm gonna film like a drugstore haul which is actually gonna go up after this video so i'm so excited about that so i've got a new mascara in there but yeah this is the only one i could find and um, this is the rimmel scandalize volume mascara personally for me i'm not a fan of these brushes i like more of a plastic hard brush where they're a little bit more spiky i feel like this is a bit too soft for me but it is still good so if you're ready for a good time count on me there's a party in the backyard that's your problems away 
Okay, so surprisingly, I actually really like this mascara. It's actually really good. Like the difference is really good. The only thing I find with like the bigger brushes is it always goes onto my lid. We can just sort of get a spoolie and just scrape that off or something. But yeah, it's really good. It feels alright all night. We're all about the good vibes. Okay, so I really like it. My lashes are always nicer on my right. Is anyone else the same? I feel like my left lashes just don't cooperate. So, so at this point you can leave the look how it is, but I'm gonna be a little bit extra and pop on some lashes because I wear lashes all the time when I do my makeup, so yeah. Okay, for my lashes, I'm gonna use my Amy Rose Cosmetic Lashes in the style Lottie. They look like this. Sorry, I wore this the other day, so let me try and stick that back on. Um, so they look like this. They are very sort of fluffy, wispy, full. I feel like they're what you want your natural lashes to be. Lily is also a very natural lash as well. But I wanted my lashes a little bit longer. So I'm using the Lottie Lash. All my lashes are now available to purchase, which is so exciting. So I will leave a link in the description box down below if you did want to shop them. They are $12.99 each, which for the quality of them is actually so affordable because you can use them... 15 to 20 times but honestly you can use them more than that i've got a pair of my lola lashes which i think i've worn now 35 times every time i wear them i write like the number of days i've worn them down in my notes so yeah they honestly last so long so you get your money's worth and the quality is just incredible so yeah and i'm just so obsessed with them i love them so much and you guys love them as well so yeah it makes me so happy and also head over to amy rose dot cosmetics on instagram and if you tag us we repost you and all of that kind of stuff so yeah so excited about these so excited you guys can finally shop them it's just crazy so what i like to do is get some tweezers and then really gently from corner to corner pull them out like this you can use your fingers it's completely up to you um, and i also keep the box i feel like that's another tip that i have keep the box because then when you're finished after a long day you can take them off gently put them back in the box close them because the box is magnetic and it's really like sturdy um and then they're not going to get any sort of dust or germs on so that's what i do another thing if the lash is too long for you because obviously we can't cater to everyone it's impossible so the best thing to do is for us to make them bigger so then you can cut them down yourself so you sort of want to measure your lash with your eye um, and these honestly fit me perfectly, but I've got bigger eyes. But if they're too big, the lashes, cut them from the outer corner, just like a little bit, and then you can sort of measure it and then put them back on. When you think they're a good size, add your glue, and then you're good to go. So yeah, just a little tip. And then I add glue. The lashes don't come with glue. I was too scared to bring out my own glue just because if someone's eye got infected or anything like that, I just didn't want that pressure. Um, but I use this one from Isla. I recommend getting a big pot like this, and it lasts me so long. But like literally a few months, maybe more. And that's me wearing lashes almost every day, so yes. So once I've generously applied the glue, I pop it down on the side and then I wait for it to go a little bit tacky. So I'll probably wait between like 30 seconds to a minute. So while that one's drying, I'll get the other one out and do the same. And then that one will be all ready to apply. Some people apply lashes just with their fingers. I personally like doing it with tweezers just because I feel like I've got more control that way. I feel like my, my fingers are like too big. Um, so I like to use tweezers, but it's completely up to you. If you're new to lashes, I've actually got a video dedicated to how to put lashes on. So I'll leave that link down below or just go and check out my YouTube channel um, and hopefully that helps you. But yeah, I love lashes. <laughs> so what I like to do is sort of pull the lashes down so they're straight and they're not curved. This way you're not going to get any glue like on the corners and then I'll blow it a little bit. And then with my tweezers, I like to do it directly in the middle as close to my natural lash band. You want to do each corner. And then don't be alarmed at the glue because it will dry. So, yeah. But you can see the difference. It just makes your look a little bit more full. Um, so, yeah, I love it. Obviously, when it's a bit more dry, I sort of clump my natural lashes and the false lashes together. And it makes it look a little bit more natural. But, yeah, I love it. I'm all about the good, the good times. until it feels all right. All night. We're all about the good vibes. Okay, for blusher, I'm going to use the Primark Glow Luxe Black Cherry Palette. 
look how nice that is i feel like it's just so simple but beautiful so i'm actually gonna mix these three shades together the middle one is quite bright so maybe just those two. Oh my god that is a lot okay <laughs> that's a lot um i do feel like oh dear i'm gonna get my powder brush and just sort of blend that in a little bit i feel like when it comes to blush i like to use more when i'm doing less makeup as weird as that sounds i feel like it adds a little bit more color to my skin if that makes sense so yeah and then for highlighter i'm actually going to use two if you don't like a highlighted look then you can skip this part but i want my skin to look glowy but highlighted if that makes sense so i'm going to use these two this is the revolution liquid highlighter in the shade gold and then i just get the pipette and then i pop a little bit oh, i think i've used loads of this this is really hard to get out and then I'm just going to get a brush like this and then I'm just going to sort of dot this where I want the highlighter to be and then use my finger just to blend. So as you can see it just adds a natural highlight. I think that looks so nice. So I'm going to do the same this side and then just blend with your finger. And then what I'm going to do is grab the highlighter I used before for my inner corner and then just go over the top and it sort of sets it but adds a little bit more glow. I feel like when you have glowy skin with natural makeup it just looks so like fresh. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just popping. I feel like you can be a little bit messy with this. I feel like it looks a little bit more nicer. Down the bridge of my nose, my eyebrow. I literally, I'm obsessed with how. I feel like at the moment, I've been that I'm more obsessed with highlighter than I've ever been before. And then, if you want to diffuse it a little bit, you can just go back in with your blush brush, go over the top, or go in with your powder brush just to diffuse it. But I love it. <laughs> okay, moving on to lips. I'm gonna do my signature nude because it is drugstore anyway, and I love it. But I have just purchased some more lip products so when i next film a drugstore look it'll be a different look with different lips and all that kind of stuff so yeah um i also received this in a pr package and it's from vaseline but it's a lip gloss so i don't know i'm really intrigued by it i think it's a collab with danny dyer but look how cute it is so i'm going to try this out as well over the top um, and hopefully that'll look lovely so i forgot to mention my signature look is the rimmel cappuccino lip liner it's just the best and then i use the rimmel lipstick in the shade 40 it's a really light nude my lip liner's on the top it's really light but th these two together just work perfectly do you recall when we were young running from our things at once without thinking okay before adding any lip gloss i'm gonna pop the tiniest bit of concealer i feel like this is a little tip everyone probably knows this but if you want your lips to look a bit lighter add a bit of concealer to them i feel like it creates a really lovely nude and then i'm gonna pop some gloss on and then i'll pop a little bit of lip liner on after as well but i feel like it creates a really lovely nude oh my god this is really nice it's not sticky honestly i've been looking for a product like this i really like it i do feel like the applicator isn't the best i think it's a little bit cheap but i suppose vaseline is affordable so that's why but the formula of this isn't sticky it's so weird because i've been using the fenty beauty lip gloss this was actually nude but my lipsticks made it this color and it's such a nice gloss but it's just so sticky that I'm like, and it's just horrible. Then I wipe a little bit off and then it's not glossy enough. So annoying, but I do feel like this might be my new fave. So I really like that. And then what you can do is go in with your lipstick after and just bring a little bit of color back. So yeah, oh my God, I love this. Absolutely love it. The setting spray, I don't have a dewy one that's like a glowy one that's affordable i have just ordered one from revolution which i'm so excited about but i feel like normally i'd use the iconic london illuminator like the setting spray the prep set and mist i feel like that would be perfect for this but that's obviously not drugstore so i'm gonna go in with this one this is the rimmel london insta fix and go this is a two-in-one primer and a setting spray um but the other one's a matte setting spray the one i used before so i'm not going to use that because i want my makeup to look dewy oh 
Right, I'm just gonna fix my hair and then I'll be back. So, my lovelies, I've just popped my earrings in. I've slicked my hair back a little bit more. It's like, ooh, I feel like I've got a facelift. I am so happy with how this look has turned out and I've honestly fallen in love with so many products during this video. I love using affordable makeup products because you can get the same outcome as using more higher end ones. I know sometimes using higher end products, it kind of feels more luxury and it's like the whole experience. But if you haven't got that budget and if you don't want to spend that much on makeup, then you can create the same that looks with it just with affordable makeup. So yeah, I love it. As always, all all the products that I've used will be linked in the description box down below so if you want to know the price where to get it or all that kind of stuff it will all be linked there for you but yeah I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new to my channel make sure you come back for my next video because I'm filming a huge feel unique haul with loads of drugstore products and just lo like literally I spend so much money but I'm just so excited to film it so yeah make sure you come back for that video because I really think you guys will like it and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So until next time, I will see you then. Bye. On this road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time.